Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Night Riker here. It's been a while. It's been uh, one of those crazy weeks at work, which is good. And the weather's been kind of crappy, so haven't been able to get much rides in. Haven't been able to get on the bike either, so... So this weekend is pretty decent. It rained yesterday, today it was nice and sunny. And there was supposed to be a, there were a couple of rides and I missed them. I was just too tired and I thought I'd get my sleep in this time around and uh, catch up on the rides next week. But anyway, I was just uh, on my way to the, my uh, folks place and yeah, I know, I know. I've got another windshield as you can see. Um, and I think this is it though. This is definitely it. I know you guys are thinking, what the heck's wrong with this guy? changing windshields like like you know changing underwear but you know i i like the matstad windshield a lot and uh it's just one thing that uh that i couldn't deal with i guess and i had to uh swap it out for this one this one is a f4 customs windshield it's not cheap it's about a hundred bucks more it's about a hundred bucks more than the Madstad one but a couple of reasons why I swapped it out and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you those right now well, I finally actually got the Madstad windshield dialed in and it was pretty good and I was uh, I was pretty sure that I wasn't gonna have any issues with uh, getting into my glove box I figure you know what I won't use it as much and then I realized actually that's incorrect uh, I do end up using it a lot quite frequently so the thing is that uh, apparently the uh, sling mods website sell a sport version I thought I had the sport version but they have another sport version which is cut from the bottom and you are uh, you're able to get into your trunk the glove box and uh, the one that I got I went directly from Madstad because I didn't want to go through a middleman like sling mods in case there was an issue and I had to deal with their customer service team so turns out that uh, that they actually, uh, the Madstad website did not have that one. They, all they had was the basic one where you'd have to lift it, lift the windshield all the way up and rake it all the way back in order to get to your glove box. So after, after many adjustments, I was finally able to dial in uh, the Madstad windshield and, uh, and it was good. There was nothing wrong with the windshield. I enjoyed it for the little time that I had it. But the issue was just, as soon as I had to get to my glove box, I didn't mark where I left the windshield, so I had to start all over again. Then I marked it the second time, and then I just, you know, I just found it to be a little bit of a hassle. I mean, I know, I know that, you know, you can always take the windshield off, and, uh, and uh, any, anytime you want to use a glove box, but still, you know, it's a, it's a hassle, uh, for me at least, not for anybody else, I'm sure, for me. Aesthetically, it looked pretty good, and it did the job just fine, no issues. But, I was watching a YouTube video, uh, I always thought these F4 custom windshields were just way too expensive, I was like, man, that's just too much, it's almost, it's 400 bucks, you know, all said and done, it's about 400 bucks versus all said and done, about 300 bucks uh, with the Madstad and and with this one i'm pretty much looking through the windshield uh now this windshield has a two inch recurve up top which is supposed to give you an extra two inches of uh air above your head uh, or actually it's supposed to make the air go two inches further above your head uh or above the windshield so it, essentially making it an 18 inch windshield uh with a 16 inch design because of that recurve uh, so and, and it's super easy to install the reason why I never brought you an installation video because literally it is 
it is easier than installing uh, the factory windshield it is two screws on each side which goes into the uh, you know existing holes uh, and the gauge cluster behind the gauge cluster and literally I was done less than five minutes less than five minutes is when I was done it was so easy it was just amazing how easy it was to install now this one doesn't adjust so it is a fixed windshield it doesn't come off but I can access my glove box anytime I want and uh, you're looking through the windshield so am I now my only concern was this two inch recurve which has that curve which makes the air go above about two more inches and uh, my only issue was if I you know because my line of sight is right around there but I gotta tell you this is made out of polycarbonate and it is optically 100% correct which is what they advertise and I am very impressed with this windshield now don't get me wrong I am not gonna tell you to get this windshield over the Madstad I mean if Madstad works for you it's great I had no issues with the Madstad after I dialed it in it's a personal preference thing where I should have done more research but hey you know uh, I guess uh, I guess uh, I learn as well but I'm glad I returned that windshield and went with this because right now I'm on the highway we're going about 67 miles an hour I have to tell you I am in a pocket of calm air right now it is so amazing that that you know I wasn't getting like I'm gonna open up my my shield and I don't even feel I'm gonna pull up my visor I don't even feel air hitting my eyes it's that good I mean I'm enjoying this this is a good windshield and uh, it is a little bit wider left to right but it is 16 inches uh, Madstad one is a little bit narrower and you can get starting at 18 inches all the way up this only comes in one size actually two I think so it's 16 inches from the middle point and uh, and they also make a 12 inches which is a sporty kind of model but I gotta tell you this thing also aesthetically looks good it's a little bit wider so I actually am getting more protection around my shoulders and my arms and uh, like I said this is not a video to dog the Madstad windshield Madstad windshield is really good their customer service is excellent I, I will, I'll, I'll tell you right now that I have had nothing but awesome experience with their customer service team uh, that's why I went directly with Madstad I didn't want to go through sling mods uh, because I knew they were just selling their products and uh, you know if you go through sling mod then they'll actually go through Madstad then Madstad will in return reply to sling mods who will in return reply to you so so what I didn't want was to go uh, through sling mods uh, anyway so what really convinced me to get this windshield and spend that extra hundred bucks uh, you know apart from the convenience to me about opening up the glove box you know uh, it being a 16 inch recurve optically optically correct and uh, you know the wind is I actually have no buffeting I, I, I can't even feel uh, the wind on my helmet I don't know if you can see but this is where I'm starting to feel the air look look at how far above the windshield I'm starting to feel the air right here so the one thing that I noticed was this is optically correct where it curves you can't tell it's curving there because the view is not distorted which is amazing and then I watched a video of uh, a Harley uh, a channel a Harley rider I forget his name old knocker old knocker I think but I'll put his name down here and uh, I watched a few of his videos and stumbled across the uh, F4 customs windshield video for his Harley and what he has done to that windshield and that windshield has survived not a single crack on the windshield I was it was jaw-dropping for me I'm gonna put that uh, I'm gonna put that link below you guys need to watch it even if you don't buy the windshield see what this guy does Hitting citizens I think or law-abiding biker uh, it's a great channel watch it subscribe to it I love watching his, uh, his video I just started too so I like his videos and uh, he's got some good stuff on there uh, please go ahead and uh, check out his video but look at this I'm I'm at 75 miles per hour now and I am still in a pocket of calm air behind the windshield it is just it's amazing I'm I'm I'm, I'm loving it 
but watch his video and see what he does the link is in the description below he goes over the windshield he goes over the, uh, he runs over the windshield with his car he uses a hammer he uses I mean he does everything he can to break the windshield it doesn't break and uh, I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the material they use which is polycarbonate versus acrylic uh, that uh, most of the windshields are being used and uh, acrylic also scratches very easily like uh, the 20 inch this uh, sent me uh, which had some production flaws Madstad it scratched very easily while I didn't even use it yet and it scratched uh, very easily and supposedly this thing is very scratch resistant it's it's just that video once I saw that video of him abusing the windshield and it did not chip or crack I was a sold customer I was like wow this is the windshield I need it is worth every bit a hundred bucks more than the Madstad windshield based on that alone so have a look at that video and uh, be ready to be get ready to be amazed it is just it's just jaw-dropping the hard coating to do on this uh, you can use any uh, glass keep cleaner on this there's no restrictions unlike acrylic where you have to be very careful what product you use uh, like I purchased a product called plastics by Meguiar's I believe so that works really well on this one you can use anything and uh, it works out great and I gotta tell you I'm enjoying this windshield I I'll, this is my first day riding this is my first day that I'm uh, using this windshield and uh, it's actually my first trip on the highway so this is the first time I got on the highway and I'm truly amazed I mean uh, it is expensive but there's a lot of positives on this and uh, and I promise you guys you won't be seeing another <laughs> windshield video from me this is it I, I know this is it's like crazy I've, I've, this is my third windshield and uh, I, I believe I finally found one that is definitely worth having uh, if you can afford it I will 100% recommend it you will not get disappointed uh, this is not a negative video towards Madstad Madstad is a good windshield it's a great windshield uh, the, there's a difference in material uh, there that's made out of acrylic this is made out of polycarbonate and uh, this is a much uh, uh, much more it's a material that can take a little bit more beating versus the acrylic windshield uh, but again Madstad I love the looks of the Madstad as well the function the uh, the positives of the Madstad is obviously the way it looks uh, it is much more um, uh, you can uh, adjust there's a lot of adjustment on the Madstad windshield plus the best feature of the Madstad to me is you can actually just a couple of uh, you know a couple of uh, uh, at the bottom it has uh, a hook just uh, unhook it uh, slide the hooks back on each side and you can just take the windshield off I hope everybody's okay actually I don't think it's an accident it's just a tire change you know that a tire change caused all of that but anyway what was I saying so so yeah so uh, so yeah Mastad has a lot of positives uh, don't get me wrong I think I have a it's all happening today on the channel I think I have an ambulance here behind me I'm pretty sure it's gonna be crossing me because uh, there's a hospital right back here actually you know what it should be going straight to the left uh, there's the uh, Kennestone hospital is right down there on that road so technically the uh, ambulances should be should be going from this road but I'm gonna slow down anyway yeah, there it goes all right so yeah so Mastad has a lot of um, positives don't get me wrong this is not a video to diss Mastad Mastad is a good windshield their customer service is excellent you will not be disappointed by their customer service if you buy directly from them now sling mods has been great too I'm not trying to diss sling mods they've been great but at the end of the day sling mods is the middleman and I'd rather deal with uh, directly with the company that is making and selling the windshield so f4 customs it cost about I think it was three hundred and eighty dollars and then you had to pay tax and shipping it came out just a little over four hundred it's a lot of money I could have gotten a nice uh, like a, I think Corbin or one of the uh, guys make a really nice 
comfort seat, comfy seat for the Riker, but I went with the windshield because I know I'll enjoy this more. And I gotta tell you, first ride on the highway and I already enjoyed it, it was fantastic. Uh, they have all of these in stock, so you don't have to wait for these things to be made. Uh, I got an email saying two days later the windshield was on its way. I ordered this Monday morning and I had this windshield in my possession Thursday, I believe? Thursday or Friday morning I had it, so that was very quick. Uh, but yeah guys, I just, uh, I just wanted to bring you a quick video on yet another windshield. I know but this is it this is uh, this is just you know the reason why I'm, I know this is it is just because of the quality make sure you check out that video that I posted in the link below uh, and uh, just that you know you put it on and from the first minute of riding it is absolutely the way you want it is why I'm gonna stick with this there's no for me there's no adjustment required there's nothing and I prefer that you may not but I prefer that so that's why I am uh, I'm pretty happy with this guys let me know uh, what you think or if you've seen any other videos and uh, uh, you know I appreciate you, uh, you joining me on this quick ride guys please hit the like button I appreciate it if you have any questions about the F4 customs windshield or if you're looking to buy one go ahead and ask uh, feel free to comment and I'll uh, reply back as soon as possible and guys until next time, be safe.